I remember waking up on the ground and at first I thought it was waking up from a nightmare because I, I don't know what happened and it felt like waking up in the middle of the dream and then I, I saw Bob above me and uh, I was asking him where we are, what happened and then uh, it took me a few minutes to realize actually that I'm in South Africa and then uh, it all, all clicked together that uh, we went on the training and we crashed and then we were hit by a truck. In January 2018, Petr Vakoc, along with teammates Lawrence de Plus and Bob Jungels, were involved in a crash whilst training at altitude in South Africa. Both Vakoc and de Plus were clipped by a truck, forcing them to the tarmac, with Jungels narrowly missing the collision. InCycle recently caught up with Petr to discuss his racing return and that fateful day. I knew I could uh, breathe a bit heavily, but I was like, okay, I'm alive. And then I was focusing on, on my legs. And at the beginning, I, I, I was like, I cannot uh, feel my legs. I cannot move them. And then uh, Bob, he was really like calming me down. It's, it, he was telling me, it's just a shock. It's, you will be okay, it'll be okay. And then, uh, yeah, at that moment, I just, uh, once I could move the legs, I was like, okay, now, now I am alive. Once I was in hospital and found out that I have uh, six vertebra broken and that I need a surgery, I just thought, okay, I, I, at the moment I, I can uh, move my legs and if I wake up after the, the surgery and I can still move my legs, uh, I'll be fine. Two weeks later, I, I could uh, fly to, to Europe. I went to, to Prague because my family is there, but also there is one of the best spine uh, hospitals in, uh, in the world. And uh, there I had uh, two more surgeries, which uh, really made me healthy again. And uh, I, I couldn't move for uh, three months. So I had to wear the, the chest brace. And then I, I started basically immediately a few days after the surgeries with some uh, his exercises uh, just, uh, I was basically starting to, to walk again. Yeah, the, the accident happened in the uh, end of uh, January and uh, half of May, I could uh, start moving my bike a little bit. And uh, at the beginning of June, I, I could sit on the bike for the first time. In the months after crashing, Vakoc began to rehabilitate. First on his indoor personal trainer, astonishingly hanging it from the wall so he could remain lying down. Just five months after the near fatal incident, the young Czech was remarkably ready to return to the bike once more. I just uh, felt uh, 10,000 times uh, more uh, more things than normally. I, I just was aware of, uh, of the moving uh, nature around. I was aware of the wind. I was uh, really enjoying the pushing into the pedals. Although it was very small power, it felt like really nice. It felt, uh, it felt amazing. It was a super nice feeling. Training-wise, I feel basically on the on the same level as, as uh, in the past, but uh, in the races I have a little bit worse feelings. I feel that uh, there I will I will need uh, some more time to to be able to to do the performance also after 200 kilometers or or just uh, be able to to change the pace all the time and. Uh, this will probably still still take some time. Just under a year after the crash, Vakoc began pre-season training, rejoining the newly named De Kerning Quickstep for 2019. Earlier than expected, he returned to racing at the Vuelta a San Juan, almost a year to the day since crashing. I had also incredible support from the team because they, they helped me to, to arrange everything to have the best doctors, best uh, transport, and uh, also they they gave me the confidence to uh, to take time to recover. I didn't have to worry with uh, with coming uh, back uh, as early as possible. I had all the time to to recover, even though I was I was at uh, the end of the contract. So 
all the other staff from the team were very, very supporting and uh, all the fans as well. It was, that was really incredible experience.